A groundbreaking announcement about food safety today. Millions of Americans get food poisoning from everything from salad to peanut butter. 3,000 die every year. But today the government said it's ready to enforce sweeping ideas. And ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here. He has tracked food illnesses in his career, and he's got the big news. Rich. Yeah, you know, I started my career working in, in food safety, and finally we're starting to see rules developed that they could make a big difference. This points us to a future where people can eat their dinner without being afraid. Jensen Farm cantaloupes might not have killed 33 people. The Sunland Peanut Factory might not have sickened 42. Contaminated spinach might not have sent 13 to the hospital just last month. And eight-year-old Nate LeBron wouldn't have spent three days in the hospital because he ate a peanut butter sandwich. The stomach cramps, I was screaming loud, and I was saying, why does this happen to me? Two years waiting, and finally, rules to take the fear of bacterial contamination away from the produce aisle. From the spinach fields of California to the peanut production lines of New Mexico, food safety specialists have spent two years begging for these regulations. Today's action is a big deal. It's good news for consumers. It's good news for food companies. Instead of waiting till there's an outbreak, the new rules aim to prevent outbreaks of foodborne disease from happening in the first place. Take peanuts. To be safe, I'd want them tested as they leave the fields. I'd want them processed at temperatures high enough to kill salmonella. I'd want to store them covered so that birds can't contaminate them with droppings. And I'd want them tested again before they're released to stores. Those sorts of things will now be law. Two years to come up with rules which cover the riskiest kind of produce. Food safety experts are elated. For the first time, rather than reacting to problems once they happen, FDA is going to be able to prevent problems before people get sick and before food needs to be recalled. You know, I, I talk to all my friends who work on food safety, and there's a huge sigh of relief that farms will be required to do the right thing. You know, now we need to make sure that Congress funds the inspectors to look over their shoulders. You thought a lot of these things were required already. That's Turns right. out they weren't. So how long before we start to see this action really taking effect? Well, effect? you know, a final rule from the government will be a year in coming. But now that industry knows what they're going to be held to, mm -hmm. people say that they're going to start making changes right now. And that could lead to fewer outbreaks even before these rules become the final law. And again, you were saying you have confidence that this is going to change this history it, of foodborne illness in this country. That's right. And once we hold our domestic producers to this, then we can look at the food coming in and hold it to the same standard. This is really big for food safety. So they can enforce what comes in across the borders and across the ports as that's well. That's right. Until we hold our own to that, we can't hold them. Now we can. Okay. Thank you, Rich Besser, with Big News Tonight.